Hi, welcome to another vlog. I'm just getting ready to go meet my friends Mona and I have less than 10 minutes to get ready so it has to be a super quick makeup but my skin is so bad at the moment like can you see all of the breakouts it's like super bumpy I'm blaming it on the hormones or maybe carbs over the Easter but other than that I haven't changed anything so it's got to be one of those two things and it sucks it really impacts the way that I feel but anyway I'm gonna tattoo you real quick I had such a good Easter we went back to the seaside to my parents house for the whole week and yeah it was amazing the weather was so lovely it was sunny um, super warm and we were going to the beach almost every single day and the day we were leaving we even had a barbecue outside first time this year which was just amazing birds chirping sun shining exactly what we needed just like a really really good reset of mind body and spirit um yeah loads of quality time with the family and um now we're back to our usual schedule i really wanted to tell you guys uh about the two movies that really stuck with me so they were part of the film festival and it's anatomy of a fall it's a fantastic movie that really grips you from the very beginning and after the movie it sort of leaves you thinking about it still um which to me is a sign of a good movie a husband of a woman dies and then she's the main suspect and the whole movie is about that about finding out whether she's guilty or not so that's a really really good one and then my mom and i went to see my favorite cake and it probably has to be my favorite movie this year it's an Iranian movie. It's super, super sweet and really sad at the same time. And I've been thinking about this movie for days on and it's just, it really, I think it moved something in me. I don't know, I loved it so, so much. So my favorite cake and Anatomy of a Fall are two movies you absolutely have to watch. We came back to Vilnius the day before yesterday and it was like, 20, over 20 degrees it felt like summer's evening which was amazing and today it's two degrees again i absolutely cannot stand this jump in weather so i really don't get it um yeah in this vlog i'm gonna show you guys uh my empties i've been talking about that but i never really did show you the products i finished and then I also got lots of incredibly, incredibly beautiful um, pottery, new pottery from my favorite ceramicist. I'm so pale at the moment. I think I need to use some more bronzer. For the lips, I'm gonna use Kevin Kwan in New Naked. And Kaya lipstick in Honey Elixir. And that's me today. By the way, at the Seaside, Rokas and I shot a really beautiful campaign um, for our wedding rings for the jeweler. And I just love how it turned out. So I think by the time you watch this vlog, it will already be out on my Instagram. So make sure you check it out. Now I'm gonna go get dressed and off we go. I'm gonna wear Balde Freak. Gonna show you my outfits really quickly. Uh, I have on Zara t-shirt and Zara wool jumper. My bag is Mano Atelier and despite what everyone says, I personally love mixing black and brown. Um, the belt is vintage, I showed in a previous vlog. And my really old brown, white, vintage trousers. I don't know what happened, but it's like winter all over again. I'm off home now. I think we'll have to decide what we're having for dinner tonight. Take Doran out for a walk. 
and um, yeah with Simona we can just chat away for hours on end and <laughs> it always happens so okay let's go all right guys first let me show you the new pottery that I got uh, so everything is by Greta from Greta's studio. Unfortunately, she closed down her business. She decided that being a full-time ceramicist isn't for her. So she closed down her business and she will be a biology teacher full-time. She had a big final sale and I grabbed some of her last pieces. So the first one I got is this vase. And uh, I always want to invest in beautiful vases for Umi. And her pieces are the most beautiful to me. Like she's definitely my favorite ceramicist. I love everything I have from her and I have lots of her um, beautiful vases. So this is a pretty big one. So stunning and I just, I love the shape. Then I got this one that's behind me. So it's a similar style, slightly bigger opening and it's like dark chocolate brown. It's just my hair right now. Um, but yeah, it's got uh, this beautiful texture to it. Love. Then from the same dark chocolate brown clay, she made this one, which is just, it's so special. And we're currently keeping garlic in here. And this sits in our kitchen. But yeah, it's a very beautiful, unique piece. Then I absolutely fell in love with this clay. Uh, this is not a glaze, it's actually clay that, uh, that turns this color. It's almost like cappuccino or something. Um, so it's like a mixture of sort of cream and brown colors. And this is like a salad bowl. So that's everything I got. And she's the sweetest person ever. Like I met her tons of times in person and we had her ceramic classes. So she's the loveliest and she decided to send me two little gifts. So like a little bowl, a baby for this big one. And uh, this little black vase. So, so sweet of her. Thank you so much, Greta. And uh, you guys know that my favorite mug that I always have my coffee from is by her in this clay. And yeah, I just, I adore these vases. They're stunning. So if you book Umi decor, most likely a lot of the flowers will come in beautiful Greta's vases. So that's everything, by the way. I planted my jasmine but it's not very happy so if you have any tips why it's like turning brown and dying do let me know i don't think i'm over watering it but it doesn't like something but it's it's so so pretty mm, anyway let me show you the empties finally i've been talking about them for ages and i have this paper bag full of empties that don't fit in here anymore so i'm gonna start off with hair care, I finished these chlorine products and I mentioned liking them, but in fact, I didn't like the shampoo. I really did like the conditioner. It's ultra gentle conditioner for all hair types with oat. Leaves your hair really soft. The thing I like about these is that they're mostly natural origin products. This is 86, this is 96% natural origin product. So they're good for you, good for your hair. And I did love this conditioner, but the shampoo was just very meh. It's a volumizing shampoo with flax and it's not something I would repurchase, but the conditioner was nice. This is a micellar water, niacinamide glow. Was okay, but I think I prefer Bioderma. Byredo Baldafreak shower gel which is my favorite scent from Byredo. And this was a Christmas gift from Rokos. I loved it. So, so good. Uh, so let's get into this one. Uh, I finished L'Oreal Reinforcing Shampoo, which was nice. Just an okay everyday shampoo, but I think I prefer to use something a little bit um, more natural for my hair right now. Like I'm loving Davines, um, 
Although I do love Kerastase, I have to say this is like not a natural brand, but I do love Kerastase product so much. So yeah, Divinus, and at the moment I'm using a lovely shampoo that I'm. I think I'll talk about later because it's like a random discovery. But this um, multi-protecting shampoo for color treated highlighter hair was good. Yeah, it's, it just has that typical Kerastase scent. Um, this I used so many years ago for the first time, so it, the scent takes me back. I have to say I love most Kerastase shampoos, except for Nutritive line. It doesn't work for my hair, but the rest of the shampoos are really good and yeah, they're pretty foolproof. And then I finished two Kerastase serums. I've had these laying around for ages. This is potentially um, serum with vitamin C. Um, that's supposed to stimulate hair growth and this one anti-hair fall fortifying serum so I was very adamant about using them every single day uh, after washing my hair I would just take this pipette half pipette for one side of my hair and then half of it for the other side and uh, I would massage it into my scalp this one smells so lovely I love um, Genesis, yeah. Genesis is one of my favorite lines from Kerastas. I have no idea if these serums did anything to my hair. I cannot tell. My hair is in a really good state, I have to say. It feels very thick um, and healthy. It's probably down to the fact that I stopped coloring my hair and I'm trying to grow it out. Um, but these probably did help as well. Um, yeah, I need to grow out my hair but yeah like it's shiny i don't remember the last time my hair was this thick and um yeah like healthy so it's growing out nicely i want long strong natural hair that i'm gonna highlight eventually when it grows out this is off topic but yeah these serums were lovely probably just an extra step but if you are trying to grow out your hair and you want it to be stronger, healthier, shinier, maybe give these a go. Um, Alright, then I finished Pixie Tonic. This is vitamin C brightening toner with ferulic acid. Um, I really like this one and my favorite is probably the glow one with uh, glycolic acid I'm currently finishing up. But yeah, these pixie toners are really good. I don't like manual exfoliants, so I love um, acids for my face to exfoliate my skin with. And as I said, my skin is like playing up at the moment. It's not in a good state at all, but I think toners like this really help. Some more hair products. I uh, finished Davines Oi hair oil. This is my second bottle. I really like this one, but I'm not a big fan of the smell. But it's lovely, um, sort of non-heavy. This adds a lot of shine, so I would use it almost like a finishing touch. Then this was Mama Conditioner, Moisturizing Conditioner for Dry Dehydrated Hair. Really like Mama line, it's, it was really good for my hair. Um, yeah, one of my personal favorites from Davines. Oh, and I also finished this Mama Shampoo, Moisturizing Shampoo for dry hair from Davines. I have this in solid form as well, and it's perfect for travel, it makes your hair smell incredible. It's uh, lightweight, uh, but hydrating at the same time. I love everything. Another hair product, um, again a Kerastase serum. This is Resistance Scalp and Hair Serum, um, Leave-In Serum. Um, smells like very aquatic. Again, I would massage it into my scalp. Uh, sometimes I would use it through the length of my hair as well. Mm, it's not a serum I would buy again. I just, I don't feel like it did anything to my hair. Like I would rather choose this one for the scalp or the classic hair style serum for the ends of my hair. Finish this Nivea deodorant. Like a very, very old favorite. Sensodyne toothpaste I like these ones another toothpaste Marvis aquatic mint this is probably my favorite 
Florga Vitamin C um, Concentrate. Absolutely love these. Highly, highly recommend if you're looking for good vitamin C. Peo Hydro 24 Hour Creme Glacé. It's um, an incredible, super hydrating cream that's not too heavy. It's almost like a gel-like cream. Oh my god, one of my favorite hydrating creams I've ever, ever tried. So this is something I would definitely like to repurchase. Uh, and then what else do we have in here? Oh, this I haven't finished. This is Swede Pro Eyelash Growth Serum. I'm just throwing it out because I cannot use these um, eyelash growth serums. They irritate my eyes so badly. Like my eyes, I cannot open them. They're like red and swollen. And I've tried quite a few different brands and I always have the same reaction. I just, um, maybe I'm allergic to an ingredient or something, but it's just horrible. Um, yeah, it, it looks like I have an eye infection that's like gone super bad. So no. Pace, this was a really nice Le Bon and I really enjoy the scent of it. It's just like a stick Le Bon. Really liked it. That's it. That's everything I finished. I hope you guys enjoyed hearing about my empties. Um, I'm gonna go decide what we're having for dinner tonight. For dinner, I made carbonara. Pasta alla carbonara. Uh, lots and lots of parmigiano reggiano. And I use this beautiful bowl for the pasta. have a photo shoot today and an interview about Umi so this is what I made I'll be photographed in the city with a vase and this floral goodness I love it look at these ranunculus so incredibly beautiful this is my breakfast today from the new bowl uh, just Greek yogurt white strawberries blueberries um, passion fruit, a bit of honey, and homemade granola. I just baked um, a tiny batch for two people, for Akos and I, to have a bowl of granola, so looks delicious. <laughs> some dinner and I wanted to show you guys this lip gloss I got it yesterday it's a Korean lip gloss they have a coconut one and grape one and it's um, like a pink gloss and it turns your lips this beautiful shade of pink it smells like grape candy or artificial grapes but it's very pretty it reminds me of Dior lip glow because it's 
a pretty bright pink. We have a zucchini and I had an idea of making zucchini pancakes. I have parmigiano cheese and we got some salmon because I thought it would be nice to make like a little roses out of salmon to pop on top of the pancakes. Um, for garnish we got brown beach mushrooms. I don't think I've ever cooked these before but I think it can be nice. And we've got some dill and some sour cream to go on top and then some baby asparagus. My idea was to make cheesy zucchini pancakes with salmon. Okay, today I definitely took some extra time to make dinner. Zucchini and cheese pancakes, sour cream, beach mushrooms, salmon and asparagus. It's another day and I just came back from grocery shopping. I um, I thought I'll show you because it's not like our typical grocery shop. I went to like very specific shops. One of them like organic um, shop called Livin and another one assorted which has lots of different lovely items from all over the world. So let me do a haul. Radish sprouts. They're pink, they're so pretty. So this would be nice like on uh, an egg in the morning or a sandwich. Then I got quinoa because I absolutely love quinoa. It's great for making salad with. Then natural sesame seeds. We love Asian dishes, so I often find that I need to have sesame seeds. Uh, then uh, these are like Chinese egg noodles, mascarpone and ricotta and I do recommend getting these at Assorti because surprisingly they're a lot cheaper and it's an Italian brand. So instead of getting it like Kirimi Iki Maxima, I recommend getting this at Assorti. Lovely butter, looks lovely, I don't know, it's like salted um, Italian butter. And the rest of the items are from Levin, which I mentioned is like a health shop um, that has lots of different things. They have beauty products, they have food, they have tea and coffee. So this is Hempus um, Eco Hemp Seeds. But yeah, um, again, perfect for sprinkling on salad or putting in granola. Then I got this Japanese tea. In matcha plus matcha and like the box is so pretty look how pretty it says early autumn rice field ocean one green basho so loose leaf tea and um yeah i'm excited to try this i got organic mixed beans from bayona and also from bayona these Ramame beans. Manukropos. Um, I don't even know the English name for these, but they're made from wet. Um, yeah, it's like tiny, tiny grains. This I used to have as a kid all the time and I kind of missed it. Then I got organic yuzu ponzu. I love um, ponzu. I got this Dr. Bronner's Organics Baby Mild Le Bon. I've oh, had like maybe three or four of these. It's one of my favorite chapsticks. Then I got roasted coconut chips, perfect for homing granola. Um, and that's everything, that's everything I got. So I hope you enjoyed this little haul. And by the way, this is the, the gloss that I showed yesterday, but it has worn off and so it leaves your lips very pink after, um, which is nice. It sort of acts as a tint as well. And uh, I also got some flowers to put in a vase that we got for our friends for birthday. So I'm going to show you really quickly how I arrange them in the vase because we don't want to gift an empty vase and we need flowers for birthday as well. 
what else show you. I got these two lips, some of my favorites. Um, some flowers that don't have the yellow petals. I love them like this. Then some gorgeous soft pink hyacinthus and the most beautiful ranunculus. Okay, that's the arrangement. How cool are these sunflowers? It's just like very soft and spring-like. Love it. And the vase is beautiful. It's from Carol Holm, but I can't remember the, the brand of the vase. It's the weekend today, super rainy. We just came back from a walk. And this is our very late breakfast today. Just toasted some rye bread, added ricotta, uh, sauteed champignons, some pancetta, onions, poached eggs, um, sprouts, asparagus, and salt and pepper. Six degrees. Uh, I just finished a meeting and I'm going home. I'm gonna meet Rakas and Dorian on the way and I'm gonna wrap up this vlog here so hopefully you guys enjoyed watching it. I'll see you next time.